CBS Morning's Gail Lord gets hit with infringement allegations. There was a tremendously disputable meeting on CBS Mornings. Makers of the show apologized and rebuked Tony Do Kupel for his line of addressing. Notwithstanding, while individuals are discussing what Do Kupel did, more individuals stand out on Gail Lord, with one individual saying she disregarded editorial principles before the meeting. This occurred and the allegations against Gail. CBS Morning's interview with Ta-Nehisi Coates separates. Ta-Nehisi Coates showed up on CBS Mornings to examine his new book, The Message. This book has three areas and follows Coates as he ventured out to Africa, South Carolina, and Palestine. In each stop, he expounds on what he sees there and conveys direct records of individuals associated with different racial conflict. Nate Burleson presented the meeting and the main inquiry was about how Ta-Nehisi Coates feels his book is really great for journalists to peruse. He makes sense of that essayists, particularly the individuals who expound on certifiable occasions, ought to have the main objective of saving the world. Nonetheless, before Gail Ruler could get in her most memorable inquiry, Tony Do Kupel started to get clarification on pressing issues. Be that as it may, Do Kupel created some distance from the ordinary morning show cushion questions and quickly blamed the creator for having a political plan by just recounting one side of the story in Palestine. Coates said that everybody in America has heard one side of this story, however, he needs to recount the narrative of individuals whose accounts don't get told. There are people on the two sides, and a significant number of them don't have anything to do with the governmental issues of the conflict. Is it since you simply don't completely accept that that Israel in any condition has an option to exist? Do Kupel, who was Jewish, inquired. It was obviously a blindside gotcha-styled interview from him, and he overwhelmed the whole portion with the pointed questions Adrian Rourke, the leader of publication and news gathering, and Wendy McMahon, leader of CBS News and Stations, said that Do Kupel's inquiries didn't meet the organization's publication guidelines, through cutoff time. Be that as it may, this was not the last word. Foremost seat Sherry Redstone safeguarded the meeting and said he was a model of common talk. She wrapped up by saying, Tony worked really hard with that meeting. Gail Ruler blamed for disregarding editorial principles. In what may be a method for redirecting consideration from Do Kupel, there are presently individuals inside the studio who went after Gail Ruler for the meeting. The intriguing thing is that Gail just had an opportunity to pose one inquiry, despite the fact that she had arranged more. Do Kupel couldn't permit Burleson or Lord to talk nearly at all. Coates later showed up on the Trevor Noah webcast, What Happens Next? They talked about the meeting, and Coates said that he felt that Do Kupel was at fault for securing the meeting. Be that as it may, he had only beneficial comments about Gail. Gail came behind the stage before we went, on and she had gone through the book, and I'm not saying she concurred with the book, Coates said. King was like, I will get some information about this. I will get some information about that. This achieved contention. A previous CBS columnist guarantees that assuming she was showing him explicit lines of addressing ahead of time, that would disregard editorial guidelines, by means of the free press. That is questionable. The other thought is the gotcha interview style of Do Kupel. Gail was needing to discuss the book, and there isn't anything against editorial norms that doesn't permit a questioner and liable to examine the discussion in front of the meeting. Numerous marketing specialists request the inquiries before permitting a subject to show up for a meeting. CBS safeguarded Gail Lord after these allegations. Gail Ruler is perhaps of the most regarded writer in America. She is known for her exhaustive readiness and note-taking, a CBS Mornings representative said in an explanation. She peruses the books, consumes the substance that will be talked about and widely plans for each meeting on CBS Mornings. Participating in pre-portion discussions with visitors is standard practice for any accomplished host, through day-to-day -day monster.